guys, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I have been playing, and I want to show you what I've actually been making. Let me bring you in. Hold on. I've been making these really cool little, this guy's kind of ruffled here on the edge, these really cool little butterflies. And um, what I was doing is, this is just a little bow tie. I wanted to see what it looked like with just a square. Um, what I did is I have a bunch of, of course, we all have a bunch of painted papers, right? So I sit here and I'm like, hmm, I just want to play around, do something different with them. So I decided to make these butterflies. Um, I'm going to show you really quick how they're done. It's very simple. Um, I have tried it with small circles, which makes these smaller ones. Okay. So this size circle will make this butterfly. Actually, you have to have two of them. Okay. And then the bigger butterfly, this one, was done by two of this size circle. Now, unfortunately, um, oh, this isn't the one. This is a three inch circle. Oh, you can't see it, it's shiny. Um, it's a three inch circle, which is what this is. Now, I also decided to pull out and do some squares, and um, I don't have, where's my ruler? Let me see what these are. This one is a um, two and a quarter, uh, no, a two inch square. This is a two inch square. All right, so I wanna show you what both of these make. So what I did is that, like I said, I took a bunch of um, painted paper and I just cut out these circles, punched out these circles. And now depending on what kind of design you want on them, um, I'm thinking I want these like teardrop things on the outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take four of these scalps, which is not a whole lot, and I'm just gonna glue for those little scallops. Now, if you have um, just a small, a regular circle with no scallops on it, I'm gonna say about that much of it you glue, okay? Just enough to bring this other piece over and have it glued down. So here's what you end up with. All right, just two circles glued together. And this is so simple. Now, I flip it over, and then all you do is you start an accordion fold. Okay, oops, let me bring it up. Here's one little piece that I folded over some scallops. Turn it over and fold over a few more, okay? So you just continue to fold it. Doesn't have to be perfect. No butterfly is perfect. Well, at least in my world, no butterfly is perfect. <laughs> so you just keep right on doing this. And then what we do, let me just finish folding it. They call this the accordion fold, I believe, because see what it does? It comes out like an accordion. So let me finish it. And the reason I start with um, folding over so the colors here is so you don't end up with white on either side. So keep your accordion file together. And then what I do is I took a piece of string. Um, it's just a, a real light spring, string. You can use any of the craft strings, any of that kind of stuff. And find the middle of your accordion file here, which is right about there, and then just tie a knot. Now, I like to tie the knot on the flat part of it, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I am just going to tie a knot. I'll do it again. We're gonna do a double, so I'm just gonna ring it through twice. Come on. My fingers are not working very well today. Okay. So now this is kind of slipped to the side. That's okay, I just pull it over. And then what you do, turn it right side up so that you're pretty is on one side and you just bend out your accordions, right? Bend it that way. Oops, see, I'm not, I'm not quite centered. 
Let me move it over just a little bit more. A little bit more. It's still not quite centered. And that's what happens when it doesn't get centered. Um, you don't end up with um, you end up with a short side of a butterfly and a long side of a butterfly. So I'm moving it over. At least I'm trying to. I've sat here and made a bunch of these, and yeah, what happens when I turn the camera on? It's like, yeah, I mess it up. So anyways, you take them, and you just kind of bend your paper so that it stays open. Take this side, bend your paper a little bit so that it stays open. I take the two first main folds and just kind of crunch them together there in the middle. And the reason I do it on the flat side, if you notice the flat side, this is where these two strings are. And then... I just cut off the strings and there's your butterfly. How cool is that? Isn't that neat? <laughs> I was having fun making these. Now like I said I did that with just the circles. Okay so I've got a few more circles here. Now I was also playing around with squares and I thought hmm can I do the same thing? Guess what? You can. So I'm going to take these two. This is actually a print of a uh, um, an acrylic pour that Gina Aarons had done. So what I'm going to do, again, I have the scallops, so I'm just using the scallops as reference. You don't have to have the scallops. You can have just a regular square. And then I'm just gluing these two pieces, these two squares together. Same thing. Right, so I glued them together. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to flip one square, one scallop up, and we're going to do the accordion fold on this. Stay up there, paper. I have a loose piece of paper here that I was playing with earlier, and it keeps sliding. So I know we normally do reviews, and I don't know, I just I was not in the mood to do a review this month. So, um, yeah, I got these little project things that I thought I'd share with you. So just keep folding until you get all the way to the end. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the wider you fold it, the more, um, the, the larger, or not as many, I should say, not as many of the accordions are you going to have. So I just do it. What is that? Let's see what it is. That's about a little over a quarter of an inch. Okay. So I am going to grab my string. Just take a piece of string. Same thing. Kind of find the middle. Wherever you think the middle might be. We're going to tie it on the flat part. Come on, sit down there. My fingers don't like working. I think this is the hardest part of it all. It's just tying it. Yeah, I could have got a bigger piece of string, but yeah, no. Of course not, Cindy. All right, so I tied it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take my accordions and unfold them. Come on. Gonna take a second. Going to unfold them, and I just bend them a little bit. Now you can take your time and make these precise, and yeah, no, this is just something fun to do with your jelly prints. Then you can use them in your journals. You can give them away, you know, in happy mail. Um, you can use them on a canvas. You know, whatever. Now you can also take these and decorate them. I don't do that because I like them just the way they are. So I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fold and that fold and I'm gonna bend them together. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that they'll stay open pretty much. And there you go. Another butterfly or flutterby as I call them. 
All right, so quick and simple. Oops. Um, all you need is a glue stick, a little bit of string, and some uh, painted papers. And there you go. That's my review for this month. Again, it's just a little project to have fun with and play. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll show you some of the other ones I've got here. This one. Got this one. Um, and as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.